So Searching is a new thriller about the disappearance of a 16 year old girl called Margot Kim and her dad David Kim's quest to find her. That's basically the premise, but it's told entirely through the perspective of laptops, computer screens, mobile phones, basically every piece of technology that we use every day to communicate. This film accomplishes what found footage films try to accomplish, and that's realism. The gimmick of telling the film through the perspectives of laptops and computers, that's been done before, like in the film Unfriended, but it wasn't done as well as it was done in Searching, because I was watching this film and I was completely wrapped into it because it felt so real. It was the performances of the actors, mainly John Shaw, who was great in the film, combined with the realistic representation of laptop screens and tabs and all that kind of stuff it made me feel like I was actually watching real people in a real situation try to deal with this horrific disappearance of this girl. Every time you see a computer desktop or an open tab whether it's Facebook, YouTube or Twitter it looks 100% real and authentic because you see that a lot in films where somebody will have a YouTube tab open and you can just tell that it's not YouTube and it's completely fake and it just doesn't look like YouTube whatsoever. This this film looked like they actually got a computer and filmed the actual websites and everything involved with it. It looks 100% real. Even when characters are talking to each other on FaceTime, it's not the unrealistic, crystal clear HD quality that you'd expect to see in films. It's actually kind of blurry at times. Sometimes, you know, it lags, it glitches a little bit. They did such a good job at making this film feel realistic, and I truly feel like that if they did not tell this film in this way through the laptop screens and all the technology, that the film just wouldn't have been as interesting interesting or as engaging or as effective. And the film was a really good mystery as well. I truly felt like I was along with the investigation with John Cho's character as he was uncovering new information about his daughter that he never knew about, new leads, new clues. And perhaps more surprisingly, I wasn't actually able to guess where the film was going. Every time a new piece of information was unearthed, I was like, wow, I, I truly wasn't expecting that, minus the ones that they showed in the trailer. There was revelations later on in the film that actually surprised me. I wasn't expecting some of them. So big props to searching for actually being an interesting mystery but also one that I wasn't able to predict and guess. In terms of any negatives with the film I only have a couple like there's a couple of cliche story beats in there like John Shaw he's on the investigation and he's gonna get really involved in it to the part where he's gonna go out and confront people in person he's gonna get a bit physical and then the detective's like okay we don't want you involved anymore you're officially out of it we don't get involved anymore you know that typical cliche stuff you expect in these kind of missing person films with a parent trying to find their missing kid and this being a mystery film it into loses replay value because half of the fun of this film is not knowing where it's going so now you know where it's going you won't really want to rush to rewatch it anytime soon but it doesn't fully change the fact that I was quite surprised by searching it was a really interesting mystery that was very well told through the laptops and technology perspective and it made it feel really realistic and because of that it was much more engaging and much more involving than it would have been if it wasn't told through that perspective it's a really good thriller to wrap up the summer movie season with I'm gonna give searching a four out of five Thanks for watching as always guys, let me know what you thought of searching when you get a chance to see it. Also, what's your favourite missing persons film? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you want to see more of my stuff, click on one of these in a second and I'll see you all next time.